If you took the Getting Started with Prisma course here on How to Prisma, you will remember this application, Social Q. This is what we built when we explored Prisma with a Next.js application. With Social Q, we can come into this calendar area and schedule some posts. It doesn't really schedule posts and send them out on places like Twitter, but it is something that approximates that behavior, at least from a front end perspective. So we've got a provider, we can add a campaign. My first campaign, testing description, submit that. We can come over here to the schedule area and we can schedule a post for some time in the future. We can select Twitter, we can select a campaign, and here's my post. Time can be whatever, 12.30, just like it had in the placeholder. So there we go, just a really simple application. In the application itself, we're actually just using SQLite, something really simple. We've got our Prisma directory here. We've got dev.db, and that's a SQLite database. If we go to .env, there's our database URL, which points to file and then dev.db. So to explore a little bit further here on PlanetScale, why don't we change this up to use PlanetScale in this application? There's a few modifications we need to make, but it's actually pretty simple. So let's take a look at how we might do that. The first thing I'm going to do is come up here to my database that was used in this course. I'm actually going to delete it because we are limited to one free database here on PlanetScale within an organization. So let's get rid of this one and we'll create a new one for social queue. So delete database. We need to specify the name of it as a check that we actually want to do that. We'll delete that database. And now we are clean here. We can go ahead and create a new one. I'll call this social queue and create the database. Okay, so once everything is initialized and ready to go, let's go over to the terminal. And over there, we're going to need to disconnect from our current connection, which is to that database that actually no longer exists. So this would be broken anyway. But let's do control C to quit out of there. And we can do a new connection with pscale connect to social queue now, social queue, and we'll connect to the main branch. That's the only branch that's there right now. Once again, we get that same address, 127.0.0.1, and that same port, 3306. So back over in our code then, what we'll do is we'll change things up here in our Prisma schema so that it will support our planet scale connection. The provider, it's set to SQLite. Of course, we need MySQL in this case. The URL still points to database URL in the environment file, so that's fine. Like we just saw in the other code that we worked on, we need to set relation mode, and we need to set that equal to Prisma. Okay, let's save that. And then what we'll do is we'll need to adjust any of these fields that have relations. We'll need to do the manual indexing like we saw before. So in this case, it's a double at index and we need provider ID. That's the index to satisfy this post model. What else do we have? Looks like that's about it for any kind of manual indexing we needed to do. So now what I'll do is I will grab the connection string that we had previously. I'm going to just erase what I had done here, pointing to the connection string, the full connection string to planet scale. Now what I'm going to do is grab this local one, which we've been using up to the last video. I'll copy this. I'll bring it over here to this environment file. And I'll just replace what's at the end because it's pointing to that old database, planet scale Prisma. We'll change that up for social queue. So now our connection should be good in theory. We'll see if we get any errors. Let's try to do npx prisma db push. And that's going to put our schema, which we have here in schema.prisma, that's going to put it into the database, which currently doesn't have a schema. So it does look like we're getting a foreign key constraint error like we saw before. And I bet this is because of the version of Prisma that's used here. If we go to package.json, a lot of this stuff is outdated. This was about a year ago that this repository was put together. Prisma here is at 3.8.1. Now we're at 4.9 as of the time of this recording. So why don't we change that up? Let's upgrade to 4.9 and we'll do 4.9.0. Same thing over here for the Prisma CLI. We'll do 4.9.0. I'm not going to update any of these other packages just yet. That would require quite a few changes in the application because much has changed in Next.js, for example. So just Prisma for now. So now let's do this. Let's do npm install to get those new Prisma packages installed. We've got some vulnerabilities because these are old packages, many of these ones here, so we could fix that, but not for now. And let's try doing npx prisma db push once more.
There we go. We have our database schema loaded up. We've got our Prisma client generated, so we should be good right there. So what we can do now is let's just kill this server that's running the application and let's do it again. npm run dev to run the application. Let's come over here to the browser and we'll refresh it. There shouldn't be any data in here right now. So no campaigns, that looks good. No providers, etc. Let's try adding a campaign and see if that connection is going to go through. Cool, looks like we got some data there. I'll refresh just to make sure it persists and it's still there, that's great. Let's make sure everything else works. Shouldn't be any problems, but we'll just double check. We can pick Twitter and John Doe. And then we'll schedule something once more. So down here, let's pick Twitter. Let's pick the campaign and the time. All right, looks like everything is working. We can just have a look here in our planet scale dashboard. We can make sure everything is looking good. Let's go to branches, to our main branch. Let's promote it to production. That's always a good thing to do right away. And we can take a look at the schema as well. There's campaign, post, and provider. Everything looks good here. And that was a pretty simple upgrade here in our application. We got ourselves over to planet scale quite quickly. One thing that is worth mentioning is that fields that are of string type here in Prisma, when using MySQL, they're actually quite limited in length. If we take a look, for example, over here in our schema area in planet scale, anything that took a string type, it's varkar 191. So not terribly long. And for things like the body of a post here, that's going to actually not provide a whole lot of length. What we might like to do then is we might want to use a native database type, so something like db.longtext, that might work for us. Or we could do db.varkar, and then something that's longer. So just something to be aware of if you are using PlanetScale, and therefore MySQL or Vitesse, which is the MySQL compatible database.